Welcome to the OSR's podcast where we talk about RuneScape. I'm Emmett Cat, one of your hosts, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rex as always. And hello, it's RuneScope again. And today, we have one of my favorites, man. He uploads all sorts of content, pretty much anything that's really popular. This man is an absolute hustler. Thank you for coming on in, Pip. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Hell yeah, man. So we're going to start off a Q&A, and then... Uh, we got something a little special planned. Should I just flash it real quick, Rake? See, what do you think? A little flash? A little dude, a flash it. Give him a tease. Give him a, a little tease, dude. And, uh, hell, should we do a little light goal? Mm. Well, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Okay, we'll hold on. Hold on. I don't want to rush this. Oh, uh, mate, we're, the anticipation is killing me right now. <laughs> it is, bro. It yeah, is. Let's, let's jump into the Q&A. Let's just say the, the amount of likes this video gets will mean more than just our happiness, okay? Mm-hmm. Just, yes. just throwing that out there. All there right, there, there is a consequence to you liking this video right now, boys, so it is in your best interest to smash it, okay? Just tap it. Just a little tap if you want. <laughs> Wait, that's how you made him look. <laughs> I just had <laughs> it the first time. God. Dude, it's actually my character. It's pink. I didn't even make it, but you, it's exactly how my character, how your looks, character looks. looks. <laughs> pink hair. Oops, sorry. Let's, let's get this, dude, Q&A. Hey, if you're watching this video then chances are you're probably not subscribed. We are less than 500 subs away from the big 10,000. So if you enjoyed today's podcast or you've enjoyed any of our previous episodes, make sure you drop the sub. And without any further ado, enjoy today's episode. I'll start I'll start this off and it. I'll start with the old fashioned. How long have you played RuneScape 4, Pip? Uh, I remember playing it in like 2004 when i was in like kindergarten I, rem- I don't remember playing it but i remember showing it to my friend and i remember him not liking it and i, I was sad about it but then in like 2007 i like actually started playing and i remember like getting my first thousand gold in like third ish grade i don't know and then in like 2000 from 2007 on i played with my brother a ton and we made like a, a bunch of accounts uh, we were pkers we had like a zerk a pure account we had a summoning tank that was sick we had a bunch oh, of stuff. Summoning here. tank. Mm-hmm. Dude, we oh, used dude. to. That sounds awesome. We used to like back in the duel arena. We, there were people that like scanned with summoning on, and we used to like hide our familiar. So like, and we would trade them our inventory, and they didn't think we had like a summoning pet out, and we would just like anti scam at the duel arena and be like hundreds of mills. It was sick. It was Yo, so I fun. remember that. I remember that. Fuck. Can, can you talk me through one of the anti scams? Uh, so there was like a way to like hide that you had uh, something summoned. I don't remember how we did it. But we hid that we had our, I think we, had, I don't think we even had an Iron Titan. We had like the, the Minotaurs that trained defense. And we hid that we had it, uh, and we had nothing in our inventory, and then you would trade, you would send a duel request, and then you would trade them, and then you would, go, they would be in the trade screen, and it would be like 20, 28 free inventory spaces. And then in the trade screen, they would uh, like accept the duel so that like you couldn't drop anything and pick it up. So like, like to them, they thought it was like a foolproof way, like, they, oh, he doesn't have anything summoned. But like it's hidden. And then you go in, <laughs> and you go in, and, and your minotaur is better than their whatever terror bird they had or whatever. <laughs> oh, dude, I have I have vague memories of seeing like titans and stuff like yeah. up around the corner of the dune arena and stuff like that. But w- was it the actual familiar that was attacking their player? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Bro, I was I was about to say the same thing as you, Tom. I have the most vague memories of just be, seeing these random pets follow people in RuneScape, and some of them PvP wise. I had an Obi Mauler, and I was walking around Edgeville, and we go for dark bows, and I just had this one defense guy pop out of nowhere with like a, a what was it called a Steel Titan or something? It's like level forty yeah. combat, seventy five defense, ninety nine summoning, and me and him destroyed like three dark bowers in multi. It was the most vague <laughs> memory of my existence. And he was so, he gave me all the dark bows and I never saw his ass again. Just the most vague memory, bro. But he beat some ass, dude. And talk yeah. about beating ass, Pip, bro. Now, people might know you for your tile, man, right? They might know you. Mm-hmm. But you're an ass beater, all right? Could you, could you please tell us, do you, <laughs> do you like to go in the wild and uh, constantly I do, still beat ass? Or, I like, do like PKing a lot. It's definitely my favorite thing to do, like in RuneScape. I love the wilderness. But I wouldn't say I'm an ass beater, especially in the in the current <laughs> wilderness. In the current wilderness, I'm an ass BT. It's not good. <laughs> the the current wild the meta is uh, HK, so it is quite easy to get your ass beat. That's bad nowadays, bro. But I, I go over your channel and I see like uh, these these videos of like dead man mode and like uh, just PvP world oh, shenanigans. I love dead man mode so much. 
Dude, I'm telling you, you have some of the most unique, fun content I've seen on your channel. And now yeah, I do it all, honestly. Honest. Well, tell us more I about do everything. Everything, bro. Tell us more about some of your I don't know. PvP Dude. experiences. Like, have you ever got a huge PK? Have you ever got Dude. smited? The the war them. I think I've only smashed my desk on RuneScape. Like, it was probably it's only one time. I used to have a PvP hardcore, a PvP hardcore, and I would like run around PvP worlds on my main sometimes, like looking for people. And I found a guy at wyver like ancient wyverns, and he had full. It was a high risk world, and he had a dragon hunter crossbow and full armadil. And I somehow landed a teleblock on him on like one or not one, like fifty mage bonus. I had like void and like a water staff because I don't. Mm. I'm poor, and <laughs> and I got him down to, out of food, ten HP, and I had a ballista, and I had a, a zero on him on like ten HP, like, like three times, maybe four, and I, he logged out, and it was oh. the maddest I've ever been. But yeah, I like to, I mean, I, the PvP worlds are like incredibly dead. The wilderness is just like pretty dead. But I like to like go hunt around for loot a lot. That's my favorite you, thing to do. Do you in record it though, like lately? Have you been doing um, it lately at all? No, I've just playing timeline lately. I mean, okay. I don't feel too bad about it because it's all dying. No, honestly, we're going to, I was going to talk about this a little later. And we are because uh, we have this, uh, you know, the wilderness has changed, right? And bring up all of that. I really want to go deep. Because it really, the wilderness has changed, but you know, maintaining not there yet. Uh, what's what's your best smite, bro? You ever get a smite? Um, I smited a crossbow. That was kind Dude. of recent, a couple months ago. I've uh, never oh. smited a crossbow. Really? No, they will never. I will go. Their prayer will drop, and I'm like, mm, and nothing. <laughs> Every time you? I go throughout rev caves hunting for people with crossbows, no one, no one, dude, and I'm not gonna stop. Not gonna stop, man. Yeah. I think I don't know if it was a smite or if he just didn't protect the item, but me and some friends like just went to the multi slayer caves with like full DH and just got to one HP. And this guy just like, logged in. We all just hit him, and he got his melee prayer up, but we got his claws. I don't know what what the deal was. Yeah, I, don't, I would consider it a smite. Yeah, no probably wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a smite. No protect item. Yeah, so I, it was a classic me. re I, moment. I, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was I think, so wait i want to hear the first part of the story it was you and a bunch of people with dh low hp and slayer DH gang. yeah it was fun <laughs> i mean like, who do you are these content creators or just some homies uh buff was a content creator uh okay. ham guard another pvp hardcore hunter we got people from that stream Discord. bro dude it's fun five people no hp roman slayer caves a dh someone just bring mad. a decent <laughs> Dead. oh man dude think about it right slayer cave is almost like the new unpopular version of the old rev cave yep you know it's just it's just a shame there's no good loot in there yeah. it would be but we could we could totally go there actually man we could it's do fun. that we could do a one hour wednesday again <laughs> i was gonna say major emphasis on not popular <laughs> <laughs> major. Poison, it's incredibly poison, good. poison potion made a video about like wildly slayer it's actually like it's underrated for sure it is unpopular but not because it's not good it's just people don't want to go there i think there's, yeah. there's people um and i don't want to like you know talk about the worldly too much in the beginning of the podcast yeah. but i swear the way it was made and those talagmites is yeah. disgusting yeah. <laughs> disgusting i've been roasting them since release oh, it was like some J mod. I love the J mods. They're all great. Send me a shirt. Was just mass clicking <laughs> stalagmites while they were roaming through the cave. No fucks given, bro. No fuck. Is that an entrance? I think it needs stalagmite. Dude, is that a wall? I know what it needs. Stalagmite. Just, <laughs> fuck, dude. Air to look cool. Dude, oh. Pip, I got. I, I have a second question for you as a general yeah. Q and A, and I just got to throw it out there real quick. I'm trying not to hold, but I just noticed your background, dude. Like. The, are you gonna ask about the walls? <laughs> that a yeah, fucking like, green did, screen? Did you, did you choose that to be green, or like no, is this no, on no. purpose for a green screen? What's the deal, man? No, what it's not on fuck? purpose. It, it's, it was supposed to be darker green, and it came out like a light green. It's what? dude, it's it, perfect I, I, green screen. It's it is. Perfect. It is. People tell me all like they come into my stream. Like, sometimes I do use it as a green screen, but whenever I don't, like people just come into my stream and be like, "Oh my gosh, have you ever thought about using that as a green screen?" And I get the question all the time. I I sometimes do. I just don't like how I don't know. I don't like how green screens look. I didn't even realize solid yeah. green in the background. I don't think I've yeah, yeah. it is ever exactly seen like that. a green screen. Yeah, you gotta try that out, bro. Green. It was supposed to be dark green, but it's light green. And I'm too lazy to repaint it, so. Yeah. Where did you get that paint, dude? Like at a UFO shop um, or something? Home Depot, or probably. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a UFO shop. Wait, hold on. <laughs> All right, this is a bit of a personal question. I hope you don't mind me asking, but like, do you rent that place or have you bought that place? Uh, no, I live with my parents. So it's oh, my, yeah, it's, 
Hey, All hey, right. nothing wrong with that, baby. That's what I'm talking no, about. We're in inflation yeah. these days, boy. Recession. I was just going to say, man, if I was the landlord to that place and you moved out, I'd be like, what the fuck have you done to my house, man? To be fair, it, I didn't paint it. I, it was painted while I was away at college, so. Oh, it doesn't okay. glow in the dark, does it? Like when color. you close it, you know. No. It's not <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are, are you saying that your parents chose that color? Yeah. God, they're, oh they're nuts. Hey, sad, dude, sad. Get, dude, get your parents old, man. Let's, let's get them on <laughs> like I, guess, I guess you could say like it's that bad. cash money, bro. All right? Yeah. <laughs> they like it like them Benjamins, but like <laughs> green, though, you know, could have been. Yeah, that's bad. It's real bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, speaking of Benjis, uh, Mr. Tebow, dude, you got any PVM questions, man? I don't know how I got them. Uh, no, I mean, no, I mean, like, you know, I guess you already hit up the general stuff, 2000, you know, started 2007, but but obviously you've been mostly PKing, right? Because like mm -hmm. I, I first knew you uh, from Verf because like, you know, he, he plays stuff? the P PvP hardcore, right? Oh, and then, yeah. you know, he'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, this guy, Pip's like looking, he's looking around, you know, he's trying to kill me, like stuff like that. So I, like, I, I knew you mostly from, from he him. He started playing from, again. Like, yeah, yeah. But like, I didn't want to talk too much about him playing. But like, anyways, yeah, you know, I knew, I knew, knew that you, you had a lot of PKing stuff. So like, now you're not peaking as much for many reasons, but like, mm -hmm. how, how is the you know transition? I guess to to like playing a Tom man mode or just like a restricted account in general. Uh, That's PM s you know non P PK focus. Like what? Yo, boys, one sec. I got our first random event. Oh shit! What That's do you do for the account? What do you what even do? do? Is it a maze? Is do? it a maze? Is it a maze? I saw it was an old man. I don't I can't know. See it. Dude, I don't know. Like, we got a kebab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's, all right, that's, that's that is huge. That's, that's, that's some. Right, they don't even food. know what that is. They don't even know what Chat, we're doing. Chat, let us know. Do we keep the kebab? Is this cheating? Yes, we yes. haven't started yet. Dude, we don't even know what it is. They don't even know what it is yet. They don't know what it is. But do we keep the kebab? Yes. One for eat, two for not eat. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Let, let the chat decide. Yeah, let the chat decide, dude. Yeah. Um, so I was saying, like, you know, what's what's been kind of like. Uh, what's refreshing with it so far, you know? Like uh, I, I'm like experienced with Iron. I'm not experienced with PVM. I did Inferno in Leagues, and that was a big accomplishment for me. It took like three attempts. I'm not very good at PVM at all. That's it? Three? <laughs> pretty fucking <laughs> good, bro. I had, oh, oh. I had, bro, Absolute Unit was the most disgusting relic of all time. It made oh, everything yeah. so oh, easy. Still, I, I, tanked I tanked five Zuckets during my Zuck. <laughs> it, it, none of them God. killed me, so I was like chilling. But oh. I've done some chambers. I've done... Theater of Blood on leagues. Uh, I've never done Nightmare, so I'm not like a PVMer, but I'm experienced with Iron Man. I have had an Iron Man yeah. while I was in college that I got to like 2K total and did a bunch of stuff like Zora and Chambers. I have like an Ultimate that's like 1600 total. I have played like a couple PvP hardcores, gotten like somewhat far. I played the Iron Man early game like seven or eight times, but the timeline yeah, yeah. stuff it definitely adds like a different aspect to it. It Dude, is very, yeah, because now it's restricted, you know, it's a restricted now. Type of gameplay. Mint, mint, make a PvP hardcore, dude. They're fun. PvP hardcore tile, man? No, mm -hmm. just a regular one. Dude, okay, well, I was going to actually talk about some of your a good mix, PvP so. content. Because you have, yeah. obviously, PvP hardcore. Um, and I mean, I mean, Solo Mission does that and every, everybody, too. Mm. When I look at them do that, I'm like, I do not want to do that. So, uh, <laughs> I know it'll get views, but that's how, you cannot stream it. There is yeah. no way you could stream it. You'd have to grind that all off stream, for sure. Pretty and that's much. why... Like I give you props, man, because if you're that was looking, the first videos I made, I is yeah. I streamed a PvP hardcore and made videos about like I could only play it on stream. I got pretty far. Did you? Wow. Yeah. Dude. How many people were you uh, popping in your in your chat too at the time? Oh, at the time, like no yeah. one, <laughs> which made <laughs> it kinda, way easier. <laughs> I bet you try that nowadays. All right, try it again now. I have, right? I, I, and make a new series. I want to try it. <laughs> I might. Yeah. I did do. I did like try it again, and I didn't die, but like I just didn't. You should, bro. It. You should, bro. It would be. Uh, <laughs> it's I, fun. You, I, I was. You should try it I as tried well. a PVP on stream. Oh, you did. And I was gonna give people who kill me money, and I didn't. Oh, no, I thought bad, it was dead man yeah. mode. I thought it was dead man mode, dude. I'm like, all right, Varrock oh. is safe. Fucking Lumbridge is probably safe. It's hard. So I'm over to Varrock, and I'm getting chased by Soup with like fucking Fire Strike five minutes in. This man does not watch me, bro. Soup, I love you. You don't watch my streams. What that the so fuck? Funny. I know. Right? So he went to snipe me ten minutes in. Then he's like, all right, I'll take my money. And then he just fucking left, dude. He did me so dirty. I'm just sitting there 30 minutes in the stream like, all right, I'm not going to do Hardcore Iron Man no more. <laughs> but it, it, honestly, it's hard. yeah, I'm not, I'm not built for it. But mm -hmm. um, a lot of your early content is, is PvP. 
And I just want to say for those starting a RuneScape channel or looking to get in the community, uh, go to Pip's channel and, and research, honestly. Look deep. This man follows trends, but you can't just follow trends. You also got to put in a lot of effort, but you can't just yeah. make a tile man and then just not move, right? Dude. This man does some trends, dude. And you were deep in PvP, and then the trend kind of switched. I don't know if it was ever in PvP, sadly, but it switched over to tile man. Uh, I was wondering, is there another step after tile man? Or are you just completely focused on that right now? Like, um, you, you I have. I have like an ideas folder, but I mean, tile man is just like so easy to make videos compared to PVP. Like to make a like a unique PVP video, like if you have like an idea, either it's going to be like something like what Torvesta does, and you just like all I have is a rune scimitar, and you just go out and PK. But if you want to make like a unique, weird PVP video, it takes like a hundred plus hours to make a single 12, 16 minute video. But so tile man, I like, hours finding people in the wilderness. Yeah, like you said, like I made uh right before tile man, I made I copied framed and I made I an Edgeville, that. I made an Edgeville dungeon video. That video it was like sixteen minutes and it took like hundred fifty hours, like over two weeks to make. Like you just have to constantly hop to find stuff. Yeah, it's people, um, so they're hard. like, where's all the PVP content? I want more PVP content, and then it's so hard to make. Dude, yeah, I, and and a lot of the PVPers turn into pvmers right you got yep. Bodie, which i mean he was kind of everything but he started the pvp hive and i believe even skiddler even though he pks pure spam there's there's a ton um could you walk us in the whole process of making like that framed video we're talking about where he goes to edgeville dungeon right that was a good video on your part by the way and then walk us through maybe your latest part of of tile man and just kind of the differences especially time uh, dude. i mean at the at the moment uh, tile man is getting kind of harder and harder to make but the first tile man video that like absolutely blew up took 10 hours to make like i i was just, i chose a starting area i was like this this could be cool I, I saw settled was doing it and he was getting a lot of views and it looked like a lot of fun so like why don't i just try it for a video i mean how bad could it be and then i did en enjoy it like a ton but then i saw i mean i i did see the views and so i wanted to make mm -hmm. more it is definitely motivating yeah for mm -hmm. sure but it, it's they're so easy to make compared to the like also for PvP, if you want to like make PvP videos, you have to have like a, an arsenal of accounts. Like I, mm -hmm. I'm lucky enough to like use my brother's accounts, who also plays RuneScape. They're not even my accounts. Some of them aren't, <laughs> but half of them are my brothers, like pure accounts. So like, it, it takes a lot to make PvP videos. But Tile Man, you just you know kind of click a tree for six hours. Do you hours. think if so... it was easier to make PvP content, we might have more PvP content oh, yeah. creators? Yeah, because that's Definitely. what I'm thinking is like. The only reason PvP is so dead right now is because it's hard to make content on it. And then I talk to other content creators and this the exact same thing they say. It's hard to stream it, hard to upload it. Uh, you got to go find people. You got to make your own content. And then you got these other series that people just eat up. And it's like everyone wants to watch the same thing and it's still really entertaining. But I mean, even for me, I'm like almost tempted. I'm like thinking, dude, where could I start a tile, man? And I don't even fucking... Want to play yeah. a tile man, bro? It's like, hmm, maybe, maybe Falador dude would be a good spot. I don't know. Maybe on the bridge. I'm not sure, but it is tough to find a good spot because you gotta be able to get XP and on one tile. Yeah, mm, and we're yeah. gonna go, we're gonna we're go super deep into the whole like wilderness now and later, later, right? I don't want to just keeps coming up, and I'm like kind of picking at it here. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rixie was asking something. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Tom. What were you saying? Yeah. Though? So I was just going to say, um, so you just mentioned, obviously, like, uh, the views are like a big motivator and so forth. Um, so I have two questions. Uh, question one's pretty simple. Um, before you started your Tile Man series, uh, do you remember roughly, like, what sub count you were at? Yeah, I started at 28k, and now I'm at 28K. 51k. Double. Oh, that's, that's yeah. crazy. That's brilliant. I can, I can see you hitting 100 in, like, a couple months, buddy. I really could. I hope. That would be sick. I can see it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, dude. My, my other question is, you know, aside from the subs, the growth, the views, etc., um, you know, was there any other kind of um, any other factor that was a motivator for doing the tile man? Uh, ask that again. Was there any other motivator for like just start it or to keep playing it? To do it, like you know, you you spoke about the subs and views and and stuff, which motivated you. But before oh, you started, like, w was there more to it than just subs and views? Like, uh, what was your well, it? I mean, I got the idea first when I watched Settle's video. I didn't even know what Tileman was before. I didn't watch. I think it was Sram who started it originally, and I had never watched his videos. I'll probably go back and watch them at some point. But I saw Settle's video, and like, I mean, he 
I think Settle just has like a really good. He's really good at like making things seem enjoyable or and fun. Uh, when I, they're I not. He, <laughs> no, I think they are, but he's oh. just really good at expressing that, expressing that, like the feeling of playing RuneScape, like in Swampletics too, like in his early videos, like he's really good at like expressing it, and he it just did. made it seem like really fun, and it, it is fun. I mean, I, it's not like. I mean, I'd rather be the wilderness is super active and I can make videos on that. But it's not like I'm like dragging through these Talman episodes. So you're not, you're not, you're liking it. It's good content. Yeah, I definitely like it. I definitely but like it. A little it. party is still trapped in the wild. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Dude? Just, yeah. But sadly, that part is dying. My heart it's is. like my whole yeah. body's dying out in the wild, dude. <laughs> Tom's silk collection's it's dying aging. out in the wild, bro. It's just it's old dead, age. Man. It's all <laughs> that too, bro. Uh, Motivation is. Like Oh, right, no. dude. Listen, before we jump into like a massive PvP segment, maybe we should. Well, maybe we should announce the announcement. Yeah, All right, boys. marketers, go for it. We have put up a poll, and I would like our community to more uh, our community to be more conscious of these polls because we want you to have a say in the series, man. And this series Come is going to be seat. something no one's ever done before. It's going to be a tile, man. Whoa. I know. But I this know. one and is we, different. And we let you guys pull. What were the cities that we could have started in, Rexy? Do you remember? Yeah. Um, I have it here. One second. Let me have a look. It I'm was sure Longbridge, Varrock, and Falador. And Falador won with a 48% vote. How many, oh, how many oh, votes, by the way? God 379. Awesome, dude. Triple that awesome. next time. Yeah, and that, so, that happened in the uh, the community post on the podcast channel, boys. So do keep an eye out there because we do occasionally post. So just to give a little before we get into the rules, we brought on Pip, the master of time and the creator. Actually, if you guys didn't know, he created it. <laughs> the <And> mastermind. <laughs> just Don't quote us. Don't quote us. But he uh, he's gonna help us make the rules because we're all pretty bad at this. Um, we are starting at Faldor on a fresh account, one <clears> tile, <throat> one like. And uh, in order to move around, we are going to give you guys a lot of power. The more likes one podca podcast gets, the more squares we get. I think it's yeah. every 10 likes at the moment is one step. And that could change. But for now, this video gets 1,000 likes. we got to do 100 steps. Am I right? Yeah, we're going right. to custom <laughs> market ourselves. Because, Brilliant. You know, normally the, the plugin that other people use is 1,000 XP per tile. But... Obviously, uh, starting a file door is kind of a death sentence doing it that way, but uh, we're going <laughs> to manually it. mark it. Have you guys you decided know. like what tile you're starting on? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, before we get in the rules, <clears> um, <throat> I would like the viewers, and it has to be in Falador. It can't be a square outside Falador. I want you to give us a starting point. Within walls. those walls. Yes, within these Dude, they're walls. Gonna pick, they're going to pick something real bad. <laughs> they're going to pick like, the northwest corner it's where there's crazy. just well, nothing. <laughs> So what me, Rice Cup, and Rice and Hell Pip can even join in is we're going to go through the comments and we're going to read why you want us to start there. We're going to pick our favorite spot. So give us an area. Maybe it's inside the general store. Maybe it's upstairs for the, some reason. But it has to have a reason, spot. right? Like maybe we could we could be in here and we can grab a spade right away. Like tell us why. Sorry, it's not showing. Tell us why we should start somewhere and then we'll pick it. And then we'll, uh, I guess, when, whenever the next podcast is, we'll have a bunch of squares we can travel around and we could start the series. Yeah, we can um, go do a, like, a little tour of like the most random places in Faldo you've never been to because that's all we're limited to for a while. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. but, but here, here's the thing, boys. Our progress is limited to how much you guys like the video. Okay, <laughs> So 10 likes is one tile and we're in Falador. And it's like, hey, listen, I know exactly I know exactly what the plan is. We're and trying to see everything. So listen, we we will we'll divulge the plan as the podcasts continue. And um let's just say we're gonna need a lot of likes to get this plan sorted, <laughs> boys. So please like the damn video. Also, uh Mint Mad Cow, if you pull up the uh the account real quick. Yes, sir. Uh, can you check can you check the friends list real quick and then um pan back <laughs> over to our faces? You know, man, I didn't even see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was on it. Was on it. it was on it. Yeah, I can't see it. Yeah. Oh, you guys can't see this? Well, the viewers can. And just know yeah, I yeah. am hurt gravely from this. <laughs> um, damn it, I keep doing that, though. But yeah, we got Pip on. So Pip, explain to us what a tile man is and some of the basic rules. And then uh, maybe we could start from there. It's pretty simple. Uh, every Well, I guess for you guys, it wouldn't be 1,000 XP. But for most accounts, 
Every 1,000 XP, you unlock one tile of the map, and you try to progress as much as possible with the least amount of tiles available to you. So sometimes you do some weird training methods. You know, you can't really do... You can do quests. That's what my goal is a quest cape. But quests take forever. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's, it can get rough. It can get real rough. What about teleporting? Is that off guards? Uh, no. So that's a good way to, like, get around the map. If you get law runes, uh, I mean, you can just teleport to Varrock from Lumbridge. You don't have to waste all you the tiles. You got that one tile, maybe? Or... Uh, uh, so for, like, the Camelot teleport, I have, like... I didn't unlock all the tiles, but like as you teleport in, you'll unlock that tile if you have it available. Like okay. if you have if you have an available tile and you teleport, like you'll just automatically unlock the tile. It's not like it has to be like connected. Like there can be different like little pockets of tiles all around the map. That's what mm -hmm. kind of what my account looks like right now. So awesome. So and Pip actually before we started a live stream, we kind of gave him the gist of this. He came up with the idea likes equals movement this man is a true youtuber absolutely true based idea. genius true marketing sure. i um also one rule we we thought of too is every time we have a guest on we'll let that guest have what do you think 10 squares he can just add 10 squares wherever and uh that's up to him or her i was thinking yeah. that'd be kind of cool i think 10 would be enough I, dude, I, yeah, I, I honestly set the mood you know i, I have a fully fledged plan in mind like, mm -hmm. for what we're going to do. From Falador? From Fally. Yeah, I literally have, well, before like, we, the next yeah. 10 podcasts, like, done. I got it. Well, we're going to set the goals, and then we'll move on to the next segment. But first, let's just get the, like, the, the very basics. So we're going to be in Falador. You guys get to start, or, or tell us our spawning location. Every 10 likes is one step. Yep. And then, um... That's every it, new... dude. That, that's that's all we got to do. Yeah, yeah, that's it, bro. It. And, then, and then we choose... How we spend those steps, you know? Yeah, and, and the concentrators that we get on. And yeah. then if we bring somebody on, they also get to add 10 steps per podcast up to them wherever they want. They can take us right in the wild, you know? I, I'm not well, sure we can if go around in a circle. I did that. You know? Yeah. Possible. Dude, it could, right? So that that's kind of like Tile Man Ooh. podcast. It's um, exciting. I don't, I don't know. Before we get in the goals, is there anything else that yeah. we should cover? Let Let's talk a bit more about the time, man, because, you know, it's it's a pretty it's like kind of like the freshest thing from content yeah, creation the at the moment, right? Yeah, dude, we'll, we'll, I just want to make sure we got this series on wrap and then we'll cover the goals to get them excited. And then, yeah, we're dude, for we're sure. Yeah, yeah. But sure. like this, this, this is like kind of a um, similar topic, but it's not going to be a, about our timing because our journey hasn't started yet. But let's hear yeah. from. Well, from let's, let's hit that up. One um, of you, you know, let's. We we kind of already covered the rules for ours, so. Well, yeah, I want I want Tom to go into the goals, and then we can do that. Oh, you want to talk about the goals? Okay, Tom, you, hype I, us we up. don't actually know the goals. Yeah, I want to hear your plan. I want to hear your plan. Yeah, Tom, yeah. what Ray, Ray, what are the right, plans? Right. Bro? What's your diabolical plan? Do, if you all right, th this is it right here. Okay, listen. So this is why we're gonna need a lot of likes. All right, I, I'm not a traditional Iron Man PVM player. By the way, the account is a hardcore. Just take that oh to notes. Gosh. I forgot. It, it's it's a hardcore. So here here's the deal. Here's the deal. Oh, right. Man. This is it. This is like my my entire plan right now. For Bayum. Okay. We go to the stronghold of security. We're gonna need a little step for that. We get our 10k. Hopefully, you know, we don't die and lose our status to a fucking spider or those lizard things. After we get the 10k, we go straight to Varrock. We buy our fire staff, mind runes, air runes. Right. We go to lava dragons. We go get some mage levels up. We get some alcables. We go to mage bank. We get a bunch of lore runes, gnats, etc. After that, we fucking teleport the last man standing, and we're gonna be there for a long time. Now think, LMS. We gotta have some tiles available for when we get there, or otherwise we're just gonna die. So like, <laughs> Wait, in what? LMS, you gotta unlock the tiles yeah, in the it. LMS area. Yeah, yeah. Thought, dude, you you could. I thought about it. You could just like stand still and just like PK someone. And you'll get a point. And that's just one tile for one point if you're good. There, there you go, oh and hey, that, that's the plan, we're going to get, terrible. We're, we're going to unlock all, all of the terrible. halos, we're going to probably get a room pouch, might even get a VLS for the shits and gigs, we'll get a bunch of stuff, right, the that's the plan, that's what we're doing, we're going to uh, buy you, rune you're arrows, you're doing that part, you're doing that part, well, dude, I'll happily do that, we're going to buy rune arrows, we're eventually going to get to Ardy, <laughs> we're going to sell those rune arrows to the guy in Ardy, it's, it's going to be a solid isn't, plan, man. Bro, I thought you, this, there you go, Rice. Yo, I thought he. He was just gonna kill lava dragons, and that was it. 
<laughs> no, that's that's like that's like phase three, dude. Like that's nothing, oh, right? Shit. We're we're evolving as we go. All right, we oh, might even get a visage, dude. We might get a visage. Dude, this, is account, get a visage. this is your account. I'm here to just observe. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm I'm building a foundation. All right. Once we have all the rune arrows we need, Yo, we got the rune pouch, all the halos. You you so can chip me, in. You do tell me when we get to the boss. Listen, this is just, this is just. This is just what I would do. Maybe we could make it more interesting by taking turns each week of well, we'll who see. gets to decide what we do. Well, well, we'll have yeah? to see because like the other content creators, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll give us those ten random tiles every so often, and we're just gonna be like, oh, what about this? We're trick? gonna get trolled so hard, aren't we? Dude, if it's a, if it's a hardcore, <laughs> dude, they're gonna just kill your hardcore with the tiles. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can open them, but it doesn't mean we gotta move and on it, over. And if you die, if you die, that means your starting area is Lumbridge now. Like you can't go back to Falador. <laughs> If we oh, die, we delete what? the podcast. We're real unless we have Lawrence, shit. unless we have Lawrence to go back to fall. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, that's why we go to Mage Bank after we've gone to the Dragons. But listen, I think what we should do to add an extra element onto it is that we take turns, us free. Okay, oh. each week we we basically I rotate. Following? No, I, I don't mind just following, dude. Like, yo, you have you're I, the I, Grand I, Wizard, I, bro. Hey, dude, I feel like I'm the only person who's gonna have a fucking plan. Alright, so I, I'm and happy to roll. Let's <laughs> do it. I, I wanna see Rice up in LMS. That's all I want, man. That's gonna be I already did some, there. man, for the room pouch, man. I did some. I won like three you games, You don't wanna go back? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I retired. <laughs> But I'm Dude. I'm uh, pretty excited, dude. I'm with Tom, bro. Let's go to the fucking barbarian stronghold. Like, let's go now. We don't even. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> let's break the rules. You guys are gonna <laughs> find out just how many tiles that is. That's, that's a lot. Uh, we're we're, we're, that we're so easily we're easily getting like three thousand likes on this video. So you can just even three hundred steps. Go. I don't even think that would be enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 honestly, it's a lot of tiles. It's like a hundred tiles hate. per floor. It's gonna work. We'll make it work. So someone the goal, do the math, please. Someone do the math in the comments. We need your help. The the goal of this tile man though is one to kind of create a community series because we understand we have a community now with this podcast and we like them a lot. We like you guys a ton, community and we really want you there. to be able to one give us some guests you guys want on the podcast, but two also get get with the series, man. All right. I, will we make it to Barbarian Assault? I don't know. We have a kebab. We can barbarian take a couple assault. spiders, bro. I don't That's know. That's true. That's actually oh. true. Well, yeah, we're still barbarian dead. Assault. Barbarian, whatever. But the, the kebab security is stronghold, bro. The, if unless what? the viewers say we got to drop it, right? We're a community oh, channel. We got to drop the on. kebab. We got to <laughs> drop the kebab, dude. Okay. The kebabs everything, guys. Come if on. if you guys watching at home are enjoying this idea and you like it, we will take it to whatever extent. It needs to be taken to you want the song of the elves completed we will got you. you you want us to max it we'll see you know it, it's Whoa. like if it's popular <laughs> enough we'll, we'll we'll get rice cup on it we'll see we'll do <laughs> yes. daily podcast if it starts getting so pumped where we'll just upload tile man fuck fuck the podcast Bro. only tile, listen, listen, tile there, man there, there, there's three of us plus a guest so we can mm -hmm. we can we're gonna be a count share in this thing and who yeah, gives Pip's taking turns. Okay. You don't mind, bro. He's like, free. Bro. I got you. I got you. There you go. Dude, you can, all, we got, all we got to do, all we have to do is eight hours a day each. And then we're playing the account 24 hours, right? We're That's gaming. True. Yeah, we're gonna make some <laughs> mad progress. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I always have like 12 or 13 hours free every day. Definitely not doing there. anything else, dude. I'm so down. There it is. <laughs> there it is. If we Can we make a wager? If we make it to Barbarian Stronghold, no, I will right. Alka Bulwark, dude. All right, if we can make it there, I will Alka Bulwark, bro. Call me on this. Bro, I don't care. Listen, listen man. Yeah, that's look, funny, dude. This is future spoilers for any of the listeners. I've already cracked a plan out for this. Okay, right now for this episode, ten likes is one tile. But down the line, we're probably gonna say, do you know what? Every like is a tile, and we might even be like, fuck it, dude. Every <laughs> like is ten tiles, and we Don't might just in, we might zoom in. That'd be we'll sick. Zoom. That would be sick. You know, it might be two tile Tuesday. Like, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Special of the week. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, well, the thing is, the it's just you know, ten likes, All one right. tile for now, and and uh, guests can uh, decide, kind of dictate the pace to start off future. Yeah. And that's kind well, of it for now. That's kind of it for now. Yeah. Dude. We, what, one, we can help. I have one more question, Rice? Can I just ask one more question, my boy Pip here? Dude. What should we title this series? Uh, title it? 
Yeah, what do you think, bro? What what could be the, like? I know you're not gonna put on this podcast, but like when people think of this pod or this this series, what should come in their mind, bro? This is gonna be the hottest series of 2022, yeah. probably 2023. And if RuneScape still exists, maybe maybe like 2024, com- dude. Community tile man, one like one tile, Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, community and tile. Like the community tile, tile man, like the Hanini everyone account. Honestly, yeah. community tile man, guys, spread it around in your discords, in your friends chat. The Hit your grandma up. Go to yo. Walmart, buy some lunchables, dude. Tell them community tile man is here to stay, bro. All right, best series you've ever seen. I keep doing it. community tile man. I like that, dude. All right, that's my only question, bro. We're done with the rules. <laughs> well, where we are we going? Up. Barbarian village or yes. barbarian stronghold? Is... Barbarian assault? Hey, drop Lauren. <laughs> Barbarian all, right, all, all right, we got a thousand all runes from them. Bro, how are we gonna get some arrows? Remember back in the day, you go to Barbarian Stronghold and you you farm those little dudes out over the table of arrows, dude. How do we get some tail? Yeah. How do we get some arrows? Dude, the about. rain shot. The you, the rain. We don't have shot, a rain shot, bro. bro. <laughs> we gonna have one. We're going to Varrock to get a staff of fire, air runes, <laughs> and mind roots. All right, Rixie's got, got it on lockdown. No, I'm saying if we make our road. To Barbarian Stronghold. All right. We got to have ourselves some arrows. So can we get arrows along the way? Is there no. like one? No. Like or? There's no. 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 If somebody Listen, drops man, it on the man, ground. If you choose to use your week as the controller to go and find arrows, you can do that. But I'm about when it. it's when it's my week, we're going in the opposite direction, hey. dude. <laughs> All I heard from you, Rakesy, is a copy paste of your group Iron Man, bro. Don't tell me you've been thinking about this shit. That was the copy paste strat you had, bro. Sell rune arrows. Right, what okay, happened look, after look, the rune look, arrow look, strat? Look, forget Rakesy. about forget about I the, hear, the master. We went to the plan silk plan. stores, dude. That's what we did. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think they need to know our master plan because we're gonna be yeah, changing that- our decisions left and right but like exactly, let's talk exactly. about pip's progress yes you know? okay because he's he's yeah. an expert you know pip's an expert he's he's done this for like 10 years now so so he <laughs> yeah. knows true 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 he knows the way of of the tile so you know can you can you tell us a little bit about your journey before we do all the pvp stuff because that's your you know that's your um you know bread and butter but like you know you've yeah, mastered sure. this new craft so tell us a bit about like you know, the, uh, the, kind of like the POV starting off, like the struggle. I started and the planning up to now, up to where you went. I started in a uh, Lumbridge, or not Lumbridge. Settle started in Lumbridge, so I like when I made my account, I was like, I don't want to start where he started because it'll just be like the same video. So I started in like, cooler. yeah, true. I started in like some uh, random tile in Catherby that had like a man next to it, so I could pickpocket. And I also wanted to start there because like you can everyone fishes like lobsters there, like back as a kid. So I just wanted to do that again. So I just started there. I pickpocketed a man for like eight hours. And that was my, my whole first video was just pickpocketing a man and getting tiles to get like the range shop unlocked and getting a bow and arrow. And I shot and killed men and women. And then I went to the fishing shop after getting that XP. And then after I got to the fishing shop, it's basically like, you know, fish some shrimp and lobsters until high fishing. And then I have a, I had a bunch of tiles unlocked. And I think after that, I think I did finery. And I, I basically just did a bunch of quests. But at the moment, it's just kind of a, a nor- not normal ultimate, but it's basically go train a skill, then go do a quest. Uh, kind of like that. Okay. okay, okay, so that's the meta, go train a skill and do a quest. For you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quickly, be- yeah. It's quickly becoming I... like... Mm-hmm. Sorry, like go for it. Hard- eh, not harder and harder, but like... You ca- uh, do you care if I like spoil my series? I was talking to Rice Cup about it earlier. Care? I hope you do, bro. Please, <laughs> dude. Talk I, the insights. You know. I'm trying to get fairy rings unlocked, and you know, after you get you get like the list of items, uh, and you get three oh, of them. Oh god, that's hard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's bro, hard. how are you gonna do that shit? Let's no, I, I have my list, and it's I got the one item that I didn't want to get. I got a blue dragon scale, which means I can either spend like <sighs> six hundred tiles to go all the way through Tiverly Dungeon. Or I can get 70 agility and just go through the pipe and get it real quick. So I have to go get 70. Like a normal account, you know, you just it's not a big deal if you get the blue dragon scale. But I have to go get 70 agility to save like a bunch Dude, of tiles and time in the long run. Where are you going to train that shit, bro? I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you I'm just a, got a, like a rooftop. You're not doing something like dumb. Yeah, yeah. Like- well, I already did that. I did uh, monkey madness like pretty early on so I can get law runes and I can train my agility. I did... Dude, it was so bad. I did four, 50 to 60 agility on the Apatol course. I don't know if you've ever done it at oh, low agility. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it's yeah, It's so yeah. bad. You fail, you fail like four or five times, and then you'll complete it. 
Like it's, it's the failure rate is crazy. It was like yeah, 10k XP really an hour. Really I also bad. did I did like a thousand gnome laps instead of going like drain order to save tiles. That took like another like 10 hours. Dude, I I'm it's honestly like, um getting Tileman. a little hyped for Tile Man, bro. You're yeah, making dude, me a little hyped. You just do like random stuff that you wouldn't normally do just to save some tiles and it's just like way harder, but like it does feel but, a lot better, I feel like. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna do a wilderness tile man and unlock the whole wilderness, right? But I'm thinking about it. Where it would you where would you start, bro? I've thought about like, that so much. Because like <laughs> if, if if tile man if my tile man series like start like hype starts to die down, I like I feel like that's like the next step. Like Dude, I you wanna do like stuff. a a duo I thought about tile it so much. man? In the Dude. wild or some shit? I start at one side of the wild, you start at the other. How it would work. And then you meet I and no fight fight each other. <laughs> I was thinking about doing something like with money, like maybe like you PK something and you get money and you unlock areas or tiles, but I can't make it work. I thought about it so much. I'm thinking like I'm just going to start on a brand new account outside of the ditch and then just the only goal is just to unlock the whole wilderness. Like no boss and PDM. Like every just tile. Literally just unlock every tile and be done with it. I'm thinking about that. Just, just for fun until the wildy updates come out. Um, I'm not saying I am, and I'm not when even. Come out. But honestly, you're selling me on this, dude. Because back back when Iron Man first came out, I made an Iron Man. I made an unofficial Iron Man. I made a hardcore. I made a fucking uh, ultimate, dude. It was literally named Ulta Mint. I mean, it was the fucking best name. That's, I played all yeah. these series, dude. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll stop playing them obviously weeks in. But this this sounds fun, bro. I'm getting that little hype now. I didn't think I it would. is fun. It, it is like a very different experience than playing a regular Iron Man, but sometimes it sucks. Like right now, like I'm just doing agility because I have to. And I don't I really want to do it. So, what do well, you think, Tom? Is... You know what else sucks, real quick though? Oh, dude, I did. I'm not gonna say what I was thinking, <laughs> but yeah, you go for it, dude. <laughs> oh no, damn it! I sh it was not good timing, oh, bro. All right, I had to get you back, but it didn't work. First thing. <laughs> Right. I was about to get philosophical on your asses, boys. So, mm -hmm. and this goes for the listeners, listeners as well who are listening to us on YouTube. What is it, do you guys think, with the RuneScape community as a whole, where it's so appealing and like the most popular content that there is? It is I, where a player has like I know exactly what you're gonna say. put himself at such a huge disadvantage like chained himself to the bottom of like the ocean or whatever and it's like what what is the massive appeal with playing I've, this game on like uber hard mode what do you think that is i, I thought about it a lot i think that's all i i think it's like the are you talking about like the views aspect like it seems like on youtube like the harder your account is the more views you get yeah like popular yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah yeah it's it's i think it's it's i think old school youtube is all a bunch of like nostalgia bait like <laughs> on my on my comments and videos like people are like oh my gosh I don't, I don't even play anymore but i watch your videos like people watch it just to like experience the game again and and a lot of these like restricted game modes like you like all the the newbie gear that you had as a kid is like so much more important and I think it's like that kind of aspect where if you, the more restricted you are, the more like it feels like you were playing back in 2007. That's great. Yeah, I, I, I think I think that's it. I think that is it. Or partially, at least, for sure. Yeah, that's a big part of it for sure. I think you see it a lot in PvP videos too. Like a bunch of like the uh, popular PvP videos that like pop off aren't like the current wilderness where like you're getting like, these crazy max kills and you're doing all these like insane AGS mall combos. It's like very. Uh, wilderness pking in 2007-esque like kind of stuff like that oh people yeah. love the dds bro or dh yeah. um honestly when it when it comes i just think about it, it feels like runescape has found a way to prepackage the most nostalgic part of the game and sell it to us over and over and over because yep. everyone here what do you remember tutorial island wood cutting some random fucking trees in lumbridge the cows and the chickens i swear to god we've murdered so many cows and chickens in our nostalgic memories it's it's crazy and then you know some people go farther so what do they do they make an iron man mode starts you right off but this time you can't trade next thing you know hardcore they're just prepackaging the yeah. best part of runescape and giving it to you um, yeah Tile Man mode kind of feels the same way in a different aspect where it's like, here's the start of RuneScape, your favorite part where you get levels fast, but now it's going to be a little harder. And people are just like, if you could find a way to just sell people the beginning of RuneScape in a very, um, I don't know, <laughs> hype way, they'll eat it up every time, dude. And then, you know, yeah. you go into tournaments, dude. Dead Man mode, leagues. 
same shit, you know? People quit after a couple days because they're you know, all they want to do is just kind of play the beginning of an account. Like, or, to be know. fair, right? Most people that ever play RuneScape, they right, they've only probably gone up to Rune Max, right? That's about it. They're just pre-packaging literally yeah, the yeah. the majority of memories, bro, and just yeah. And man, bravo, it's working, bravo, man. dude. I I think that there truly is something like nostalgic and very special about the creation of a new account. Like I, I Justin just made that tall man account before we started the podcast. You were having a good time, weren't you? I loved it, dude. I just yeah. did the tutorial real quick, and then I ran to Falador, and I was like, "Oh man, this this is the start of an adventure," you know. And uh, I, I think the the I, I've noticed something as well. It's like the beginning of most series are usually like the hype hype, and then there's mm-hmm. usually like a spike at the end as well. People obviously enjoy and relate a lot to the whole beginning, you know, like the journey at the start. And I think part of the reason why Tile Man's probably so popular is because it keeps you in that part of the game for an extended period of time, just where it's naturally so difficult and like the progress is slow. Um, I I think it's so interesting how people really just, however, like the more difficult the content, the worse that you're handicapping yourself, it's like it's yep. more popular. People just eat that shit up. I hard agree. And it's it's interesting. It it's really kind of like a, a gamer thing too, just prepackaged nostalgia, and people love, it, especially if it's harder. Like if we go back before RuneScape, we had emulate. Well, not before RuneScape, but I mean like another subject. We had emulators, and then people go into these emulators like Pokemon, and then they they hack them. And next thing you know, you got these incredibly hard games on Pokemon where you got to grind out. It's the same shit. But people eat it up. It's just a little bit harder, bro. Um, yeah. I mean, it happens in other games, not just RuneScape. Just RuneScape's really fucking good at selling it, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I think the next question for me is, um, you know, Iron Man became a thing, like an actual official game mode, and it was the first official game mode. And obviously that was popularized primarily to begin with through Boaties One Man Army series, uh, and then followed by a bunch of content creators jumping onto it because they saw how fun it was. Like, do you guys think that there's a possibility that we may one day see some kind of tile man mode restricted account or something along those lines, like an official version I'm of it? I'm pretty it's sure they're far. already coding that shit in, dude. If if it was it's in real light, yeah. For sure. Wait, sorry, did Mint just cut out? Oh, no, I, I, was, just, I was just saying, I was, I was wondering what Pitt was saying, but I was oh, just saying. Oh, I was going to say, uh, you go ahead, Mint, you go ahead, Mint. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, I guess just always go. Guess in that, um, yeah, they're probably either working on that or they're like, oh, Runelight has it, they're set. But no, they're definitely thinking about it. There's like money signs popping around their brain going, ooh, Tile Man mode, dude. You know what we could do after that? Hardcore Tile Man mode. Ooh, more bonds? Ultimate Tile Man mode. Not only can you move less, you can't fucking bank. You know, which I might actually play that. It sounds sick. Dude, I, I love it, man. I really do. It, like, I think as soon as you start to think along these lines of like, how can you make your time on RuneScape as unbearable Painful. as possible? <laughs> it's like you're you're going you're you're down the territory of like coming up with a genius idea. But it, it's great, man. Um so my question for you, Pip, is do you know what the end goal is for your tile, man? Do you have something in mind? And if so, could you let us know? Uh, right now I'm going for Barrow's Gloves. And I have... I did the hardest subquest. I did uh, the King Awogui. I don't know how to say his name. I did that one, and I have... I don't remember the other one I did. I think I did the Goblins one. But I'm going to get Barrow's Gloves, and then the major, major end goal is Quest Cape, which is a lot of tiles. So Damn. I think it's possible. Yeah, I, I'm uh, done the math though. Do you have a, so, um, you have a time frame on a uh, Barrow's gloves and all that oh, stuff? Barrow's gloves, I could probably get within the month if I play a lot. Like how many hours of that though? Because when I play, I don't play as much unless I'm. Playing oh, I play a game. lot. I Fifteen hours a, lot. a day. Boys, go subscribe to Pit Man. A real, real gamer, real grinder, dude. He don't sleep. All right, he I'm, lives. I'm playing in right now. Hour. That's what I'm playing. <laughs> Me too. Uh-huh. So, um, <laughs> like, with with that being said, like, obviously, you know, Barrow Gloves and Questcape is huge and all, but it's also a very small portion of the game and the content that's mm-hmm. there. Do you think that, you know, you're going to continue once you achieve that goal? Like, what, what do you think? Or do you think you'll make a new account and set a different goal or continue on the one that you're already playing? 
Um, I think at some point it's just going to become an ultimate Iron Man because it's like a Tile Man ultimate. Like at some point I'm just going to have like a, so much of the game unlocked. And if I have all the quests unlocked, like I'll have enough tiles to like unlock, you know, God Wars and get all like Zora items and stuff and go PVM. So I'm not sure what I, maybe I'll just like keep playing the account, but I'm not 100% mm-hmm. sure. Man, I think, like, the evolution of it is so interesting, right? Because, and correct me if I'm wrong, because you for sure are going to know more than I do, but I can kind of see how, like, this idea has evolved, right? One of the um, first content creators that I saw do something like this was uh, a YouTuber called Limpert Root, right? Who ended up spending, like, God, like, months, if not, like, a year, like, killing men and stuff, like, just doing, like, some of the most tedious stuff ever. And then that kind of evolved into, like, I, I think of uh, Verf's, uh, I, I can't, forgive me, I can't remember what he calls the Thanks. series, but like, Chunk Man mode, right? Where it's like, hey, this is the square of the map that I'm in, and I must complete every piece of content in this piece until I can move on to the next. And now that's been, like, refined. People have thought about this so much, and now it's become, okay, I'm going to start in one tile, and every 1,000 XP I get, I can move a tile. Like it's just, did, did I, I Verf, mean, it's um, so interesting. Did Verve create one chunk, or was that no? no. The guy it wasn't even. It wasn't chunk. even Limpert. Yeah, it yeah. used to be the other guy, but he doesn't. Yeah, his play videos, anymore. his videos got insane amounts of views. It like, isn't named like Chunk, literally. Like it's something like that. I swear. No, uh, there was a guy a long time ago. I forgot his name, but he he did the extreme chunk. So he did like that thing, and then he got, he did it for like a, a bit, and then he stops. Right? You know, honestly, they got to yeah. give credit to Autumn Elegy. He was the first person who did shit for a long time in a small area for no reason. All right, so give that <laughs> man some props. Well, so you're, you're talking about the free to play Iron Man thing that he did. <laughs> I'm just thinking like he got 99 Smith and an F2 P will limit. So I'm like, that's got to somehow equivalent to this, right? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't that, know what yeah, he was no, doing. He was bro. definitely that guy that people were like, "What is wrong with?" You know what I mean? I they were like, questioning we should him have on. him on, dude. But now Honestly. it's like, oh, wow, that was pretty cool, you know? Because everyone else yeah, is I, like kind of accepting that, right? Before I just, it was like, I, I would, I'd love to have all my energy on. I think yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, I, I just want to say, like, one of the things I saw him do was he literally, like, I don't know if he's making Adam and Arrows or some shit for his maple bow, but he made like so many, and he'd have to go all the way to Barbarian Stronghold, mine some shit, and then like do a lap. And it was like the worst XP per hour. He's going for 99 smithing. Yeah. And it's not I, like uh, like it's not like different where he's doing something every time. It's the same thing, nine thousand times. I'm like, holy yeah. shit! Like I don't this is how the does it. Hmm. Yeah. this this is the really interesting you thing, right? Too. Is there is clearly a point where it, it's like you you have to refine the idea down into something that is manageable to the point where you can actually make a series that is going to get somewhere, right? Because it's like, if you're if you're too far across the line of, like, borderline impossible versus just, like, fucking impossible, it, it's like you go into the territory of uploading a video once every year versus something which is just as restrictive but more content-providing friendly, right? So my, my thought is, like, do you think that the idea of Talma mode will be refined any more than what it currently is, Pip? Or do you uh, think that it's just a perfect state right now? I mean, a tile is like the smallest, like an atom, right? It's like the smallest <laughs> amount of <laughs> um, area in RuneScape. So I don't okay. I don't think it can be refined any smaller, but I think people will continue to do like interesting, restrictive accounts in general. But I don't think you... It, yeah, there's no like smaller dude, space. The, bro, the next, the next mode is going to be like you start in, in uh, RuneScape Classic. You know, and then you have to like time travel to the, to the modern, <laughs> old and then you move to R three tile. Man. It's gonna be t- <laughs> bro, tutorial that could be a genuine t- idea. <laughs> Dude, that tutorial could, that... island tile, <laughs> man. <laughs> man that, that could be an idea. That could be it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it could, could literally be, be. It could be like starting an account, doing all of the RuneScape, old school RuneScape content, PVM wise, uh, <laughs> up until next, I guess, and then after that, being like, okay, and now we can play. More content on the RuneScape free server. Yeah, dude. I don't dude, think it'd those, be as popular, but you know. Are those servers still open? I thought they were deleted. The old, old ones. Nah, yeah, RuneScape yeah, Classic, Classic is gone, dead. man. Yeah, Classic. There's dead. a, there's like a fan made, like kind of like Toontown rewritten type thing. If you guys know what that is. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, like classic Kyle it. Man mode, dude. Do we just give someone an idea out there? <laughs> yeah, but they'll get banned, dude, or like whatever. You oh, know? why? It's not official. It's not. It's not. Yeah. Uh, so Jagex cares if someone's playing a really old, shitty version of the game. I mean, game if it, get, if it gets no, like hundred k right? views, if it gets like hundred k views, they they might be. Like, they bring back classic because yeah, of it. Yeah. Isn't that what, why know. they brought back old school, bro? Is because it got a bunch of likes because someone made two thousand seven scape. And they're like, oh shit, we got to do it again. And then they brought it and they closed that down 2007 skate. Yeah, or was it 2006 skate? Yeah, Dude, I remember that. They closed yeah. a bunch of those down, bro. I remember playing 2006 yeah. skate. <laughs> honestly, it's a nice little lore. So before, I'll, I'll give a story. Before old school became old school, I believe there was a big petition. And I think that had something to do with it. But honestly, I'm pretty sure... Um, because at the time, old school wasn't out yet. There, there was this 2006 scape. You paid two bucks. You got unlimited membership, just like RuneScape. Had an OG coder for them, um, and it was cool. It was like sort of popular. Obviously, don't play private servers. This was back when old school wasn't a thing, so you couldn't really play it anymore. Only play old school now. Um, and then, yeah, old school RuneScape it was like, damn, they got some viewers over there, bro. Shoot! And then they made the survey and vote, which I'm hoping that was the real reason. I don't think that's 100% the real reason. I'm pretty sure they saw this doing really well and said, yeah, we got to do it. Oh, I remember when Saul Rex uh, did a petition and stuff, you know? like Yeah, no, the petition was great, but I mean, like, they, that was kind sure of they got a cease and assist. Kept, yeah. That yeah. was the reason why I kept up with, with, like, RuneScape at that time. And then, like, you know, got a lot of traction. Then eventually they, they did the poll. But, and I was but like, I, yeah, I believe, I um, <laughs> you know, and I played. For sure, yeah, one. for sure. I believe the old school reached out to that 2006 scape team and said, "You got to shut it down." Oh yeah, right yeah, up. they all, yeah, they definitely. They never do that down. either. Like that was the first time I've seen them do that. I don't think they hit any other. Uh, it was got, it got to the point where they were literally re rebuilding old school, but for the community. And then the game said, "Nah, we're gonna do that." Um, yeah, there was a lot of shit going on before the which, old release. You guys remember like, like, like a, go for it. Do you guys remember like the timeline of like when they like released EOC? How long was it before like the, they that was had the petition? How that long was it before uh, they had the petition? EOC came, came uh, EOC first happened around like 2010? twenty ten, and then like twenty thirteen twelve was when yeah. the petition came out, and then like a month or two after that, they were like, "All right, um, we're gonna let you guys vote for it." And then shortly after the vote, I remember very clearly they put out the old school Rootscape server live. Cause I remember I was in high school and mm -hmm. on the day I got back from like, you know, everything I was doing, I just instantly started playing on that day. Damn. Came that up, was a so. good day. That was only reason I say that they might've done it. Cause of 2006 cape is that was the literal playbook from blizzard because they also had an original vanilla server on blizzard that was doing really well. And they're like, no, nope, we got to shut that shit down. And then, then blizzard came yeah. out and said, here's the real vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. No. Cause they're like, dude, this is good. This is money for us. You know, like and I think that's exactly like, what Jagex did. Do they could say they did the, the signatures and shit, but um, well, yeah, that's how it is. Mar you know, with the companies, they always mm -hmm. want to make money, but they can't be like straight up and tell you like, yo, it's cause this is good money. Here you go. You know, they're yeah. like, no, no, here you go. Here's a petition. You guys want it? We'll bring it back because you know we love you guys. <laughs> it's like yeah. wink, wink, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually I how mean, it, it would have it would have been a very good indicator to Jagex at the time. It like, was a, yeah. right, like like pe people really want this because I remember I, I, I think we're shit. thinking about the same private server. Uh, it wasn't out, but you could sign up for like updates and stuff. And I remember I was like patiently the one waiting I was for playing, it to go live. The one I, I was on one. was out. Yeah, there was I remember a, it was just so yeah. buggy. All right. It was so it, buggy. It was, so the dude, one that so I was laggy. maybe I dude did we PK each other? Because I remember like I last I week PK'd. they they let you spawn items just to test it. That's when they got really? shut down the last week. Yeah, they let you spawn yeah. items. People were just PKing each other, dude. And then it got yeah. Shut no, down. Dude, dude, we're talking about two two different things by the okay. way. Because the the server I was waiting for was a huge project, and there was there was like a few hundred thousand people that had signed up for interest with this server. Sounds I think like it was all. like it was something like the 2007 RuneScape project or something like that. And the servers never went live, to my uh, my knowledge. It, they might have been a playtest or something, but it, that, that was it. And then they basically just said, hey, we're no longer doing this. We've been told to shut it down. So, that sounds yeah. exactly what we're talking about. Maybe you just didn't jump no, on. No, like, like Jagex was hitting a, like a bunch of private servers, dude. They were like shutting them all down because a bunch of people moved to, you know, like, the servers that oh. they felt was re uh, relatable to how they used to play, right? So they, they it was like quite a few, and then they, yeah, all the popular ones they just went straight for them. 
There were some like huge yeah. ones that might still be. I don't want to give them name shouts, but um, those huge ones w- were around for years. I mean, before like after they they took away old school, those were there. And this one, like right before old school came back out, was was getting released. They got all the coding. I think yeah. I'm pretty like it felt like they got the same coding, like old school RuneScape and these people. Like it felt like the same server, just really bad servers. If you know what I mean, like the same. It, they grabbed that shit from the same place almost. I don't know. It's just kind of cool to see where we came from and, and why we were here. I don't think it was other servers. I think it was that server specifically got so much hype. Just like Rixie was saying, there was a ton of people. It was like $2 and uh, they got shut the fuck down, dude. And they probably shut others down, but like it was yeah. when that server happened. That was because they were only doing old school. Every other game, I think, was a little different. These people were like legit vanilla. They were trying to start it up again, just like old school RuneScape did. They were, they were trying to be those yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. They definitely but, found the way. Sure. You know, it, it, like when you actually think about it, it's like be realistic, dude. Like, do you think that let let's say in a a different universe, like that actually happens, and then that server became wildly popular? Yeah, I, I know, think, right? I don't think I don't think no. there's any scenario where Jagex would have just been like, "Oh, look, our old content that we own, our copyright is being used and being wildly successful. Yeah. We're, we're not going to intervene. Like, it, you know, it, it happens and it's, you know, we've got old school oh. RuneScape now. That's that's all I care about. Yeah, to be for sure. I just think it's incredibly intriguing. But um, yeah, don't play private servers anymore. They will take your shit and maybe more. And I am very glad old school RuneScape did get taken over because I yeah I don't know how that would have came down, but at the time that was like the holy grail, you know. That was like the only shred of hope anyone had for old school RuneScape. But no, I'm I'm glad uh, it came back for sure. I mean, <laughs> sure. dude, it's an interesting thing though, isn't it? Because like I know we often speak about like the polling system and how you know it's basically cock blocking content getting into the game, but like the reality is. Not so long ago, it we had absolutely no say in what happened in the game, bro. Like I, I played all through that that era, and I just remember like watching clips of J mods being like, "Oh yeah, everybody's gonna enjoy this. Like you know, this is the future of the game." And yeah. like, if, if you can't see that, then I don't know what. Like it was, li- it was so like just. They wildly. pulled a blockbuster, bro. <laughs> they pulled yeah, a blockbuster. It, it was, we, it we, was we... just delusional, bro. And like people were just like, no, we don't want this. And they were like, oh no, only the mon- the what was it, the vocal minority. That's what they always used to say. And they, they still say it now, and there is some truth in that. But it was like, no, everybody was like, this ain't looking good. Yeah. It, you know? We haven't we haven't really talked about the whole like you know, uh, between getting feedback and doing it, you know, like letting the company do their own thing. I remember we, we, we used to talk about it quite a lot, but it's it's more like, you know, it's a scale, right? A balance, right? Like, like how... Dude, it's, it's like the restricted account content. It's like there's a yeah. sweet spot between it being mm-hmm. too fucking difficult versus being difficult but manageable. And, and right now, Jagex are unfortunately probably on like, the other side of the scale. I wouldn't like, say it's like awfully like this. It's probably, you know, slightly tilted, you know, where... Where yeah. right now, obviously, the, the polling system is like, you know, if you're not PvP, then you're going to get, you know, you're, you're going to get snuffed. If you're PvP, you're going to get snuffed out. If it's PVM or quality life, it's going to be a yes, you know? So it's definitely a bit more like this right now for the community, for sure. It's a yeah. bit harder for Jagex to kind of like just do whatever they want, which is okay. Yeah. But like, obviously, we're, our goal is to kind of like reach some sort of. You know, as close yeah. to the middle right there, you know? Which, which is really good to know, especially, but, like, yeah. I, it's hard for me to grasp this, but there are definitely a lot of people that play old-school RuneScape that weren't back, were, sorry, weren't around back then. So understanding why we are the way we are with the polling system and why people think it's bad and why people think it's good, it, it's like, because we've been through a whole history of, you know, not having it and having it. And, and it's like, when you know the whole context to that and you hear people say we needed the polling system when the game first came out it's like a yes it's like we really did it wasn't even just a case of trying to get content that people liked it was also like there was a massive distrust of jagex because they had gone ahead with something that was blatantly so terrible for the game which you know we are here now. We have a split version of the game because of that. That was the end result. Yeah, like feedback is definitely very good, like for sure. 
at, at to you know at any extent there sometimes it's over you know some some of it's overly biased and definitely for selfish reasons but honestly you know at the end of the day there's definitely a need for feedback you know from you know but like the creators that make the game need that feedback so that when the game gets so bloated like you know after 10 years right it's it's hard to keep everything under control so you need everybody's input even if it's like sometimes a bit selfish from certain groups to yeah. really understand what are some concerns and issues that you know that 10 years of updates you know like you can't catch that all on your own you need other people's eyes to let you know right because there's a lot of content a lot of balancing and a lot of like different niches and cultures that are like refined and practiced right like like preserving a whip the value of a whip like things like that you know they're also important to certain people so so like all the all the feedback is definitely necessary but i'm not sure yeah. Through the polling system at the moment, the way it is is the best, but you know, that's that's my take. If, if the polling point. didn't exist, man, just a little brain experiment, do you think the wilderness would be more active or less active if we were, did not have polls at all? Uh, I mean, the PV, the PJ timer wasn't like polled. I don't think there hasn't been any like wilderness content, I don't think that's like failed the poll. It's just like PvP stuff in general that's already well, in the game now, right? Because they well, just I'm added saying, the whole time old school existed oh there was yeah no yeah, polling would we still have an active wild or would it be like dusty mm. as fuck still i still think it would be dusty as fuck because it's just like there's not i don't know actually because maybe then people wouldn't have like like left a, and there'd be more pvpers and more people wanting wilderness yeah. updates in your mind are you thinking about like like now everyone's doing PVM scaling Iron Man content is getting views, whereas PvP isn't. So back in the day, PvP would get views, right? So I still think PvP PvP still gets views. It's just like no one wants to do it. They the just participation want to watch it. is not the same. Yeah. <laughs> There's a yeah. couple people who will get consistent views no matter what they upload. They just upload PvP. That's how I see it. Yeah, bring Torvesta. Because if Torvesta wanted to do hardcore Iron Man, he'd get the views. If he wanted to PK, he'd get the views. Same thing with any there's, kind of creator PvP. There's still newer people like uh, West Ham, Sweet Badass. They're, they're on the up and up. True. Getting pretty good views. True. And, and Dino, like, right? Yeah. I feel like uh, well, Dino doesn't do it on YouTube, is, but... Yeah, I feel yeah. like viewership is good for PvP, but the people that participate in the wilderness is like not doesn't go higher <laughs> you know what i mean because yeah. people just live vicariously through the people that just pk you know they just because, like, ah you know my because it's, yeah. it's what i went back to earlier where like that that the edgeville dungeon video took like 150 hours like uh, there's not much there but like you get to see all the like crazy Highlights, stuff that happened yeah, yeah. but if there yeah. was if there actually was stuff there and you like there have probably been so many people that have seen a PvP video and like, dude, he just PK'd like three mil from that PVMer, and then they go into the wilderness and there's just people killing us with like a rune crossbow and there's not like, there's not really much to find. Yeah, they hop for like thirty minutes, like, yo, I, dude, there's nothing here. There's yeah. a lot of false expectations versus other PvP games where you can just get ax, you know, constant action, and the only way you can get constant action in old school is LMS, which is not dangerous. Yeah. Dude. I, you do not. I think, Min. I think it's. I, I think, firstly, you can't say yes or no to your question, right? That's why it's a brain uh, teaser. You know, it's there's no yeah. right answer. I, do, mm, do you know? What I think. I, I think that there would be uh, more content uh, in terms of like everything that failed the poll would be in the wilderness. So I guess, in a sense, uh, it would be okay. But like, there being no poll doesn't change the fact that Jagex rarely try to update pvp okay so e even if everything that they did try to do ended up in the game it still wouldn't in i don't think it would still be in much of a better state than it is right now simply because there aren't that many updates that would have happened even if they were were to all come into the game right <sighs> but who, who knows maybe, maybe if like the polling system wasn't a thing then they could uh you know explore different ideas it'd be easier more right it'd be maybe 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 like if there wasn't polling, like the updates would have just come faster. Like they wouldn't have to have like, pulled it, failed the poll, and be like, uh, we're gonna add them anyway. Oh, yeah, and then we'd be further along on the timeline. Yeah. Bro, I, I think like I remember one of the things I saw years ago. This was like back when um Mod Mac K part of the team. Uh, I remember there was like this massive um Q and A with Jagex and it was like they were discussing basically pre-inferno what they wanted to do as like the next fire cape thing 
And I remember they came up with all of these ideas. They were like, we're thinking about making three different capes. One would be I for like range, mage, melee. And, and they obviously like they'd scoped it out. They'd thought about it for probably months at this point, And it fucking failed the polls. And it, bro, I could just see the sadness mm -hmm. in, in the next, like I could see how defeated yeah. they were, you know? And, and it was at that point I was just like, Man, maybe this polling system ain't that good after all. Like maybe there's something. <laughs> it definitely there's has a its, downside. You know, definitely downsides. Know? Yeah. When when the when the polls get voted on, do you feel like you're heard at all? I I have a feeling like anything I want to pass, no, for sure not, definitely not at all. I don't even vote at most times because I'm like, well, what the fuck? I think the polling no, system is still I don't flawed in, in that fact. That I just don't bother voting so many, anymore. So many people don't vote, myself yeah. included. I can't because there's like there's like 20 questions on a poll. I'm not gonna like just ask like two things. There's like and lump them but, together. Yeah, but I, I understand I mean, why the, they can't yeah. do that. The, the then, main the main point I don't vote is because there's no point since uh, it's very much one sided. You know, right? yeah. People people are selfish. They want a uh, faster XP. They want things more convenient. So anytime any of those things kind of you know are put into question, it's gonna pass with flying colors it, unless it's PvP, right? Because then it gets it goes against the average player, so it's just the you know what I mean that's that's it. There's really not no reason for me to do it because I don't even if I put the number down, it doesn't do anything, you know. Because it's yeah, just flying majority. If you're so. gonna vote no to something, a no vote has like a lot more hold than a yes vote. So if I if I was ever gonna like vote no, if I was ever gonna vote in a poll, it'd probably be to vote no on something. It's more like you, it's a weapon, honestly, yeah. It's like you can yeah. just use your no vote. It's almost like two votes. You're not voting yes, and you're voting no. So it like yeah. slinks it down no, even it, more. It, it's free. Your no counts as free yeses, yeah. basically, yeah. like 75%. Um, there should be like a play time, right? If you don't play like 20 hours every month. Dude, we say that. Right, no, we, we need to sell it. this. That's we need cool. to sell Why this, not, bro. bro. I don't, listen, I don't like the idea of anybody having a bigger vote on general stuff coming into the game I, i'm not so opposed to it when it comes to specific niche content and sadly in 2022 niche content pvp falls into that category which blows your mind Crazy. i know you, you know what but, wasn't but, niche before the voting polls pvp was real content <laughs> so yeah it used to be pretty yeah. good never used to be a niche thing it used to be the thing you know it used to be the shit I, I, one one. So are, you're referring to uh, pre old school RuneScape men? No. To, to clarify, because we've no. always had the polling system, have we not? In old yeah, school. Yeah, but it wasn't really weaponized. Well, it was no. more. It, it's just Everyone's back really then. excited to play. Yeah, no. Now it's just they want to just bro. get like Rice is saying, easiest XP, safest way to do it. Now it's weaponized, man. Back then, people didn't care about safe. Uh, we we always talk about like when they took it was away about the death mechanics, bro. Yeah, when cool. they took away the death mechanics and no one could die for money, that's when everyone got safe. Everyone's like, oh, we knew bandos, we're not gonna lose any money, and that's when the perception happened to where everything needs to be safe. I don't want to lose money or if I have the choice to, right? Yeah. And that mentality just completely just started making RuneScape PvP a niche right then and there, dude. As soon as you could not Very be much, safe, dude. it's niche. Yeah. You don't want to go do it, dude. I, I do completely agree with you, but I know that there are reasons to why it happens, and yeah. I, I, I don't really see a way around those reasons, which would have a positive outcome. Uh, and I think that it wasn't something that was hastily done. Like I don't think that Jagex removed the penalty for dying outside of the wilderness, e.g. a safe death. Um, yeah, no, I don't I'm not, think they, yeah, I don't think they made it's that decision like... overnight. That was something it, it that they happened, really had to think about. And I it's think we all know, bad. but just for the viewers, it happened because when you would do bossing, people would DOS your world, and then they go loot whatever you dropped because you dropped. Yeah, your or, world. or even in in the PK yeah. worlds too. Like yeah, uh, well, they, so like, they apparently them. RuneScape servers are the reasons PvP died originally. Then, if we could really think about it. They just couldn't. Just yeah, I mean, there's there's that. so many reasons, bro. Like there's you know, loads. There's, there's, there's so lots. much, bro. And there's like another thing is, like, if you want to think back to like the old days of PvP, like first things first, we were a lot younger. Like we're talking like ten years ago, which is just one very small factor. Another factor is, like, I I spoke about this on my stream the other day. I I think about this a lot, dude. Back in pre EOC, before pre EOC. There wasn't just one kind of PKing. It's like right now, you literally have the wilderness and PvP world. 
back in those days, you had Bounty Hunter, you had Wilderness, you had PvP Worlds, you had fucking Clan Wars, which at the time there was a red portal where you could literally go in there, kill people for their bank, which was awesome. But on top of that, you had like a shit ton of PvP minigames. Uh, you had Stealing Creation, you had Fist of Guffix, right? Uh, there was another one, I think it was something like Crucible, something that was in Edgeville. Like, there were just so many options of things to do as somebody who enjoyed PvP. Whereas now, you have you PvP LMS. Worlds, you, you have PvP Worlds, LMS, and you have the Wilderness. And before anybody says, oh, but Rexy, you've got Clan Wars and you've got Castle Wars, bro, Castle Wars is 20-year-old content. I love it. It's a nostalgic thing. Who the fuck wants to play that? Let's be honest. Even and, so and Clan Wars? Wars? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I, it's I'm like you can sure. choose a winning clan or some shit. Like, I swear to God, it's always a winning side. Oh, yeah. So you either play Clan Wars winner. against yeah. Ancestral yeah. people or Rune people. You know, you don't, there's not a... There's Soul a Wars as well. It. Soul but, Wars isn't but, even a PvP minigame. It's just you go in there and one team is just going to win. Yep. They've just they've handshaked. It's so stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah. my my point yeah. is like this is just a very small sub factor to the reason why PvP is sucking so bad now. But like, put it this way: I logged into the game the other day, and this is exactly what what happened. I was tired, but I was like, man, I want to do something fun that's PvP related. And I literally sat there in the bank, and I was like, I don't want to go PKing because, to be quite frank, I'm tired and I don't really feel like losing stuff. That won't be fun. I don't really want to go do LMS because that's way too sweaty. And I just sat there and I just ended up logging out because I was like, there's nothing that's that's like low key, just chill, fun, PvP related that I can go and do. Whereas like back in the day, whenever I felt like that, I'd be like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do some stealing creation just for some fucking fun. Do you know what I mean? And then when you think about the state of where PvP is right now, I'm all for them bringing out the PvP arena. All for it, bro. I think that it brings a lot of benefits, but I do have my concern with it also. And my main concern right now is that the shift, the mentality towards PvP has only been See? competition. Oh, Com yep. Dude, it's competitive. Last Man Standing isn't fun, okay? Unless you're winning. It's competitive. And I'm not slating it. I love LMS. It's fantastic. It serves a perfect purpose in the game. But there is no fucking easy PvP minigame or activity that you can go and do where you can kind of switch your brain off and just do it at what any level you want. Okay. Whereas, you know, back in the day, that was that was a thing. So it, it's like at this point in time, PvP is only appealing to like the people that are like fucking ADHD out of their minds, ready to click the shit out of people, which is great and it's fun. But but like let's be honest, you can't be like that all the time. It's like there is a huge gap. There's a void there ready to be filled. But unfortunately, because PvP doesn't even get like basic updates for things that should have been changed months ago, it's like the chance of them coming up with a new PvP fun minigame. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if we're ever going to see that. I hope we do. I really do. Uh, it yeah. worries me. The, I mean, I'm all for PvP Arena. What worries me the most, though, is like, I was, I was bringing it up earlier, safe PvP content. We already have safe PvM content, dude. Why does PvP got to be safe? Have some mini games, have some fun, create some noob times, but there's no way someone's going to master PvP in one of these mini games and go, okay, let's go deep wild now for no reason. No, they're going to be like, let's keep doing this shit because it's free and there's money. There's no incentive to yeah. use your skill to go and farm or make anything. Right? You said there's not enough options for PvP. You're completely right. Bounty Hunter's gone. Multi-Res is gone. PvP Worlds. What the fuck are those nowadays, dude? A clown fest, unless you enjoy it. Props, you know, fair game. But honestly, it doesn't look incredibly fun. It looks like people just rushing each other and then banking and then some risk fights and then a lot of scams. And West Ham uploads that video, and that was lovely, but... That was um, the sickest video of all time. That was such a great vid. But honestly, that is... That's it. You know, you can go deep wild and there's not a lot of brainless PKing to do. There's honestly none. Even like anti PKing. If you're fighting a guy nowadays, you got to be on top of your toes, dude. These people are insane. Dude, so I, I'm I'm going to like flip this on you a little bit, man. Okay. Because I do, I, I agree to an extent, but I also disagree at the same time. So what do you think the outcome would be if, and you're saying obviously safe PVP content 
is not good for the wilderness. Uh, and it's, it's kind of similar to the take that Dino had when he came on here, where he said it takes people out of the wildy. So um, do you think, or how do you think that them removing all safe PvP minigames from the game currently, so we're talking LMS, Clan Wars, uh, Castle Wars, how, how do you think that would impact the wilderness as it is right now? Well, firstly, I'd like to rephrase that question and they shouldn't have updated the game where everything is safe, right? Just like they shouldn't have implemented a new PJ mechanic when the wilderness is already dead. What are you going to practice that on? A tree? The fuck? There's no reason to update things that aren't going to bring people in the wild. So first, they need to bring people into the wilderness, right? Multi-revs, I always bring that back, whatever. Anything to do, new bosses, I heard they're, they're talking about. Give people a reason to get better at the game. Give, yeah, there's a reason to get better at PVM, right? You do more PVM. There's not really a reason to get better at PVM. So and before bringing the save content in, add some extra scary shit that makes people money. Get them excited. And now once you have those things that people can do, that people can actually go, okay, I'm going to train my account. I'm going to go do that. There's literally nothing. People watch my guides on PVP and go, what do I do? I'm like, fuck, mm -hmm. I don't know. Sit there, bro. There's literally nothing in the wild. There's nothing in the fucking wilderness but rev caves, dude. Callisto yeah. shit. Clans are getting so bored of this day, they're locking down multi-spots that have nobody on it. That's like going and, and making like a Gmod server and just sitting there, dude. The fuck are you doing, bro? There's no one on. So, so true. honestly, no, I mean, the way to bring uh, people into the game, dude, is to add that dangerous content, and then you can add the safe content later, right? I, yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, I, I agree with you, um, but the point that I was trying to make is that I don't think the the people who do the safe L uh, LMS and the safe PvP minigames, I think if they were to remove that content, I don't think those players would go into the wildy. I don't right. think they should remove yeah. it. I, I, don't I don't think they should remove any PvP content. Add more. Add more. I'm just so, saying, so, like, add it in a better way. Like, be smart this about is, it, you know? Like, I, not I mean, you, Racy, but I'm, like, saying it to, like, Jagex, like, implement oh, this dude. shit in an order, you know? Man, not like there, there's nothing there's nothing i'd rather see than the active of the wildy bro or i yeah. said that's so weird the the wildy be an active dude i would kill for that bro i love that shit that is like the game for me that's the heart and soul but sure. dude i i feel like you know there's so many things that can be said about the wildy but at the end of the day bro it's like if there's not updates coming into it like nothing will change um but i don't think the safe pvp necessarily hurts the wilderness i i think that it does serve a purpose um i think it will continue to say serve a purpose and like i've said this before and I, I doubt it's fucking popular but like i have a vision for pvp that it is literally a case of like maybe instead of trying to fix something which has been broken for such a long time and people have brainstormed about this like indefinitely like maybe we should be trying to introduce pvp into the game like via a different route okay because here's the thing there aren't many people that go into the wilderness and that could be caused by x y or z it could be the fact there's not been updates and so on okay but there's clearly popularity to the mini games where you don't risk anything okay like like i know you i don't know how you feel about this dude but like how would you feel if they brought out a pvp mini game where it was like yeah you didn't risk anything but it was a shit ton of fun, it was active, and you actually got decent rewards at the end of it. The only thing is, when you killed somebody, you weren't physically allowed to take their stuff, right? So basically, a PvP minigame that was safe but profitable, okay? How would you See, feel about that? You're making me out to be some sort of safe hating villain, all right? I <laughs> am not that person. I'm not going to stand outside of LMS and start calling people names, dude, okay? It ain't me. <laughs> Bro, dude, I am dude, a we fan. Should, we should do that. Hand out your bulwarks and we're they do just... a stream where we're all, we make like a line of bulwarks and we're just <laughs> like, gotta hand no mine out though. <laughs> Y'all gonna forge your own, bro. Get out of my vault. Um, yeah, the only great. thing, the only thing that's unanimous is they just need to make the revs a bit better because, you know, like that's really a lot where a lot of the wilderness yeah. people kind of left, right? Is when, is when they dude. decided to just nuke yeah. revs completely. They just need to bring a multi section similar to how it used to be and a and single section so that the people that want to do the single stuff, they, they can still do it. And then the people that will left because they don't have the multi anymore, they can still do it. 
Oh. Yeah, you, um, just to answer. That's you know. really the thing, right? And then yeah. uh, that'll bring a lot of players back that you know existed, and you yeah. know why they left. So you can. So you. I, bring, I think that's definitely step one: is adding stuff to bring the the players back instead of trying to get new players. For real. Yeah, you already know the people that used to do the wilderness, and you know exactly why they left. So just give them what they wanted in the first place, because yeah. it's hard yeah. to convert new people into PvP because they, you know, what I mean, there's so many other PvP they're gonna, things in other games. That, they're gonna like try. Yeah. They're gonna try PvP and then go to the wilderness and be like, "The fuck is this? Yeah, this sucks." Exactly. They're like, "I'm gonna play Fortnite," you know, and then they go yeah. play Fortnite. Like, it's Fortnite. honestly like if you're doing Slayer your whole life and then you go to TOB and there's no one to fight in TOB and you're like, "What the fuck was I training for, bro?" <laughs> yeah. Like, but the I answer is like, stuff. Yeah, yeah, answer Tom's question though. I'm, I don't. I don't like see safe things as harmful. I'm seeing that because they don't actually do anything to to take these people who are playing safely and, and encourage them to go into the wilderness. That we're never gonna have an active wild, bro. And it can I know be more bring active. this up. Yeah, it can it, be more. bring it up a lot. But I mean, honestly, I've been I've been really researching into ecosystems and and economies and games and, and in real life. And the only way to keep something active is to bring in an economy into it. So if you got the wilderness, you not have a wilderness economy where you're going the wild. The longer you're in there, the more you make, but then you can lose it all, bro. Maybe there's yeah. multi-revs. Maybe there's, um, if you die in multi-revs, there's, you, you can't go right back into it. So then, boom. You, yeah, now yeah. all of I a think sudden you don't got those rag clans, they, bro. They need a strike is revs, you know? Well, it's like I said, That's like literally thing. have an ecosystem. The shitty part is they did. Where did they implement this ecosystem? In a safe LMS shop. What the fuck, dude? Why are there blighted items you can get for free, bro? They had these sweet <laughs> items they could have sprinkled over the wild to, to grow an economy, dude. Multi bosses, oh, yeah. bro. Right? So uh, help make bots content, dude. Make them make make areas where they bot non loggable you know? So you can go out and you can farm bots and hey, if they want a bot, cool. But fuck them, you can kill them for money too. Dude, and then you port every, them. <laughs> yeah, dude, everything in the wilderness should be an ecosystem. If you're out there, you're nearby a moneymaker, and you can get clapped by somebody for free, dude. Like Rexy was saying, there should be some ones where you can just chill, make money, not thank PK of a group, and then there should be some pretty high-skilled ones. There should be something for everybody in the wild. That's it. It's just an ecosystem. Fly me over, mod Minty. I will literally work day and night, and we'll get this shit going, bro. That's I true. got a way to... To get I the bots vouch. out of the wild, now I can bring the old school people right back in, dude. Fly me the Bro, fuck I, over there, you know. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this, right? This is like uh, just a bit of a wild card of a fool, right? But I think the part of the issue with the wilderness and RuneScape is they're trying to implement things in a perfect, finite way. Okay, so like you look at Bounty Hunter, right? Bounty Hunter is being removed now for so long. It's been years. I can't remember how long ago it was that Bounty Hunter was even in the game, right? It was paused, stopped, re-emplaced so many different times, and each time it wasn't perfect, so they removed it again, and now they haven't implemented it for X amount of years, because they're clearly like, holy shit, we gotta get this right. But it's because they're treating PvP the same as they treat the rest of the game. And I I'm just gonna say, I don't think that PvP should be treated like the rest of the game, like it's finite. I, I think that when you look at a lot of other PvP games, you'll notice that things are constantly changing, things are constantly updating, things are constantly adapting and evolving, a and that might just be a flaw that Old School RuneScape's PvP system has that we'll never be able to overcome, but like, just think of this for a second. There's nothing stopping Jagex from firstly saying, hey, for PvP, we're literally doing what the fuck we want to do, okay? Because let's be honest, in terms of who the fuck cares, there's less than 5% of players that actually participate in PvP, that's including mini-games like LMS, less than 5% of the population. And that figure was given out by Jagex like a year ago, so I imagine it's dwindled since then. But like, there's nothing stopping them saying, hey, do you know what? For the next week, boys, and this is just gonna go into the game, um, LMS is deactivated. You can't do LMS anymore. Like, why not? Like, just throw some shit in there. Why? Why not just be like, okay, for the next um, the next week, you're only allowed to take these spells into the wilderness. Like, change it. Let it be different. Have a cycle of like a, a special event that's happening. Like, and like, sure, some of it's gonna suck, 
I bet you there's going to be some of it. People will be like, oh my god, this is like the worst thing ever. But guess what? It's a week. Or, or however long it is. It doesn't have to be a final indefinite decision where it just lasts forever and like all oh, lms isn't a well, thing uh, yeah it, I mean, it's it could like, just be a special world just, like you know or something. It, it could be yeah. it could be a special world it could be anything like where they just have a weekly special event where some shit happens in the game it's all to do the wilderness and like i i, I feel like that is something they could try and i, I think mm -hmm. that if it were to just be like a small portion of time in which it would uh, occur for it wouldn't really be that punishing to anybody in the game I just wonder whether or not it would be realistic for the J mods to be able to do that. Like, I don't know how much effort is required on their behalf to be able to implement something like that. But I, I think that there truly is a flaw with trying to get PvP in a perfect state, because it never is going to be in a perfect state. It is unlike the rest of the game, and I think that it's time that it starts to be treated differently, because it just is. I could you make know? it perfect, all right? Just fly me on over, bro. I got oh, uh, yeah, no, um, we can easily make it better, bro, you know? Yo, just, uh, Pip, man. The <laughs> what do you think, bro? How do we save the wild? Uh, I agree with, completely with what Rixie's saying. Is I mean, the wilderness, like, giant expansion is cool, but, I mean, you don't need, like, these giant crazy updates that are going to take, like, two to three years of development. You can just do some, like, small stuff. Did you guys watch the... Uh, what was it called? The Game Jam stream where, like, I pitched, like, the, the, high, the special high scores... Like, imagine if there was, like, a special high scores like that for the Wilderness. Like, most rev kills, most crazy arc kills, most PKs. I mean, sure, people would boost it, but it's still, like, something to do. Some, a different yeah. thing to... Dude, I mean, listen, also, to add on to what I said, like, just here's, like, a random one. Make it for, like, the next three days, it, it costs a mil to enter the rev cave, right? And it's just like any fucker in there, if there even is going to be anyone in there, is risking a mill on death. Or this like, be we're, we're in, you know, they could be like, we're increasing the loot as well from the dragons by like two times or three times. Like, they could do anything, you know? They could just mix it up, make it weird, interesting. And do some small I, stuff just to. I think that is a huge point too. Like, if they, like when they buffed the Revenant Cave by like a, just a tiny, tiny bit, like people just went there because they, like, like they wanted to try this small thing out. It doesn't even have to it doesn't have to be this big thing. People just want to try new stuff. They want to we're tricking people in the wild a little bit. It's like, hey, maybe it's a little better. Why don't you go yeah. give it a look? <laughs> Bro, I, I mean it could it could literally just be a single world as well. Who knows? Uh, like imagine if they're just like um, you know, for the next few days you're only allowed to take dragon weapons as special weapons in or, or like something like that, like restrict what people can use. But like they could do anything like that. You know, and they could even make it so it's like, hey, for the next week, it's like you don't need to take runes in anymore to be able to cast Barrage. It's like you can just go and have fun. Do you know what I mean? They, they could do Fountain anything like that. Founder yeah. in the whole right wilderness. Back. Yeah, li literally. They, yeah. <laughs> That'd be insane. You know? I, I kind of have like this dream wilderness in my brain, and I don't think we'll ever hit it. But, man, it would be an area where you can go in the wild, and the deeper you go, the more you make. There's no question. It's not going to be super crazy. But if you're in the wild, there's something to do. There's always some moneymaker or some, some event. I, I've always been wondering why they never actually do wilderness events. I think the only time they've ever done one is when they did like a drop party at like uh, the Scorpio pit or whatever. And it just got a lot of people killed, which was kind of funny. But I mean, they should add those. But honestly, like Imagine if when you went in the wild, it was an adventure, right? Everywhere's money. You try to get out as much as you can. You can't just fucking insta dip. You can't just bring, you can't go butt naked, right? It's like playing yeah. a battle royale. If you're just picking up a handgun running around, you can't bitch at someone for slapping you in the face, right? If you only have a spade and you're doing a clue, grab some food, bro, right? Everyone's in charge for themselves. They can gear themselves up. And the better your gear, obviously, the more you're going to survive. And you just take advantage, bro. And Wrong. if you see a bot or you see somebody gold farming, bro, they can't, they can't just get away. They, they can't spam, like, a door or, like, some, like, upstairs, downstairs kind of shit, right? That's gone. Yeah. Fuck that. No pirate ship ladders. No, no spam logs. None of this, like, auto-logging, dude. Because you think what's worse than H King is actually people who auto-log or teleport. Anytime they see you and you can attack them, before you see them, they're gone. There's, yep. Hey, the wilderness could be packed. We just never fucking render them, dude. They're just teleporting instantly. Dude, so they if, could do. They could do so much for like, real. Like, just make it an ecosystem, and everything in the wilderness is part of it. Even the bots. Yeah. Even the gold farmers. I, they can't I, get away. I still do think that 
part of what could possibly be holding the wilderness back is Jagex's like perfectionist nature of like, hey, let's be honest, man. A lot of the content that's come into the game from Jagex has been really good content. You got the Inferno, TOB, Chambers of Zeric. It's like this content takes a long time to come out, but when it does come out, it is utilized for years. People really enjoy the content. And it's worth doing. It's very full out, which is great, right? And it's like, I think that they're trying to do that for PvP, but because there are so many issues with it, it's almost impossible for them to come up with like a finite, finite like, oh, this is the fix for it. And I, I just think they should just look at it differently. I think it needs to be, it needs to be updated in a different way, completely to the rest of the game. If well, they even choose to do that, you know, because alternatively we have what we have right now, which is very little for PvP happens. Nothing really passes the polls because there's spike voting that goes on. So more or less PvP is just left as it is, which I, I mean, we can see the results of how that's working out for PvP. We should get like a poll for only JMods to see how much they've actually PvP'd in their life. Because... When you're when you're talking about like these updates, dude, it's not. It, it, I mean, it's kind of funny, but honestly, you're talking about TOB. Those are all fucking really good PVP or PVM updates, dude. And then we got PVP updates where they're trying to fix Bounty Hunter and they add hot zones. Who the fuck didn't think that would have been absolutely abuse? Anyone, even PVMers, honestly, should have saw that coming. But it's like they don't do any of this content, so how the hell are they going to know about it, right? So we Bro. need to know who one is coming up with these ideas and two. Do they PK? Man, I, I think I think that there should be, and th this was it, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Every podcast, when we have the segment of Mint will never receive his T-shirt with his name on, we got a, we we should like timestamp it. Like here it is. <laughs> hey, dude, it's all only shirt I need, bro. One of my favorites. I just write uh, my name on the bag to feel better, you know. I I don't know if you if you know what we're talking about, Pip, but. Basically, uh, Michael over here is desperate for his authentic RuneScape merchandise T-shirt with his name on the back of it, and uh, like it's been jersey. lost in the post now for years. Yeah, yeah, mm. a jersey or, or whatever. He he's still waiting up here. Just like waiting for it. it. Did Jagex send you to it, or did you like did you like buy it from the merch store? <laughs> I didn't do. I, well, you know. So I see my boy Rice Cup over here. He gets a nice, beautiful package from Jagex. Dude, got a little kiss on it, lipstick. And Rakes you over here, he gets like what a car or some shit, like a, a real LED oh, shield they made Thank in the you. science. Bro, they, they just gave me the house, man. They were like, Hey, Rakes, you're a boy. Here we go. Here's the keys to the house, man. It's all yours. Yeah, and, and I, you know, bloke, have it. And I was like, Am I ever going to get a package? And one day I did. I did get a package. It said Mint Man Cow on it. And I opened up a big middle finger from Rakesy, dude. He was just fucking with me. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I'm no, just kidding. But, yeah, it's a joke. It's, I, hey, whatever. I don't need a shirt. I'm a grown ass man. Yeah, I've never gotten anything from Jagex either. Feels bad. We'll see who gets uh -huh. it first, bro. I'm, I'm hoping you do bad. I'm sure it'll be sexy. Think, isn't Ditter Bitter still waiting on his golden gnome? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if... God, that's kind of something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, boys, do we have anything else that we would like to discuss? Mm. Also, Mr. Rice Cup, bro, you've been a bit quiet today, man. You good? Well, it's PvP focused, so, you know, I just let you guys talk about it. Rice Cup, it's your turn, my shame. friend. Well, what what's on your mind? What do you want to talk no, about? No, nothing, man? honestly. I, I feel like I've I've said, you know, I've said a good amount here and there. So yeah, that's good enough for me. Alright. Oh, dude, where'd you get that shelving on the left behind you or your right? Is that new? This? Right there? No, sorry sorry, rice cup. Oh. Huh? Oh Oh that? Yeah. No, that's always been there. It's just you know, the camera oh. never it just depends on who who captures the, my is camera that, is that mahogany bro no oh, it's, you, no no you can't even dude, you're, you're gonna have to move, you're gonna have to move your cam now because they can't even see bro I'm like trying to notice these little new details about rice cup no it's, dude, it's the same stuff it's always been there i remember we got those posters at the convention bro it was a good time. yeah i need to get new ones uh, in two weeks because no. the convention's finally open let's fucking go nice, you know? <laughs> these, these will I'll change after like three years <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, are, are you boys going to any conventions this year, then? TwitchCon. I'm NA? trying to go to TwitchCon. I bought my ticket. I'm down. Yep. Yeah, we're in. Market hit me, me hard, bro. In. Oh, man. <laughs> are, the tickets, are the tickets out for TwitchCon? Hmm? Not are yet. The... We got the B&B, dude. 
Yeah, yeah, we got it all oh. sorted for that for me and Min and some other people around us. Nice. It's a hundred foot boat, fucking five stories, a bar. <laughs> yeah. got it's a boat. Got bitches. No wish. <laughs> no, no. It's just like a, it's, a it's like a little place, hut, bro. Though. You know. Yeah. You know, somebody, one of our, one of our, one of my viewers, like you know, he he wanted. Uh, like he got a place and he needed people to fill, and then it like so, so happens that we don't have a place, so we're like, okay, fine, let's do it. Let's you know, let's pack it all in. It's gonna smell so, like yeah. onions, <laughs> dude. By the way, I, right, re, I don't know if I ever got back to you, man. I know you messaged me huh? asking if I was gonna. Yeah, you messaged me asking if I was gonna come to um TwitchCon out there, like ages ago. Yeah, no, 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 if, no, 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 yeah, yeah, dude. Sorry, man. I, I don't, I can't remember if I replied to you or not, but um, no, I'm assuming you can, you're not going. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm not yeah. going to oh, I yeah, wish yeah, I was, and I, I will come, I will come, I promise. Uh, I just, I can't, because I was like, I was, what's the word, incapacitated? Is that the one? For like yeah, three months? Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, you yeah. know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't have any fucking income for three months, so I, I can't, you know. Hey, it's bro, like, it's October, it's dude. Just start grinding those videos, dude. Nah, Maybe put an extra dude. ad here or there, you know? <laughs> I got you. Dude. dude, it's like, I think it's like <laughs> fucking grand for the flight, or like, it's... So one Raid it's Shadow Legends ad, bro. Just just reach out and be like, hey, what's up? Who, man, who's going to yeah, feed me? Throw. Who's gonna, always throws who's, down. He's going to tuck me into bed every night, man. Like, yeah, just gonna think about it next year. my hair in the morning. You know? What think I'll do, exactly. Tom, is I'll get like five bags of Top Ramen in my suitcase, dude. Oh, That sounds Tempting. good, bro. Tempting. Affordable. Right. Well, um, I say we wrap up the, uh, the podcast on that note, boys. Um, by the way, People watching, if you're watching at this point in the video, okay, let us know down in the comments because listen, last time we did this, I don't think that there was a single comment saying whatever it was that we said to mention, where you know we said, hey, if you watch this this long in Yo. the video, please comment down below. And to be honest with you, it kind of broke all of our hearts a, a little bit, man. Like it was a bit fucking sad. You know, to see that nobody was watching past like the first ten minutes. Maybe they were. They just didn't give a shit about the typing. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Hey, yeah, no, maybe they no. didn't want to type. Yo, Pip, oh, what, what would be the word, bro? Drivers, let's that's, that's have <laughs> let's have Pip give the word. To you. What should we type in the comments, man? They watch all the. Mm. Uh... Great, talked about my green room, right? Because I, oh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. It green was room. that. Love, the, yeah. Say like love. The love the green room. room. Something like love that. the green, love the green, dude. Ben, when you said that, I was just thinking, man. There's somebody like probably watching the podcast at this point, and they're just like, "Oh, these cunts are saying that thing again." They're <laughs> all about some stupid ass random word again. Hey, let's get it, bro. Honestly, man, I like that room, dude. I've never seen a green room like that. I thought you lived in like, a studio. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, Pip, can you please, it, like? If I tune into one of your streams and your background just isn't like the fucking lava and RuneScape moving, I'm gonna, <laughs> like be, I'm a, gonna be so disappointed, man. Who is that guy that did that with his like head headphones? You know what I'm oh, talking it? about back in the was day? It, was it Kiefer's? That yeah. sounds right. The guy who used yeah, to do like, was. Yep, Kiefer's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. That was Kiefer's, man. All right. Well, listen, Pip, it's been a pleasure, man. Thank you very much for coming on. Um, best of luck with the uh, the tile man mode, bro. Um, thank you. Thank you. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'm going to continue watching. And uh, oh yeah, do you have any shout outs you want to do? Social media links or anything like that? Uh, my YouTube is just Pip. You just like Pip OSRS, you'll find it. Link in the uh, description. Yeah, my Twitch is Pip underscore OSRS. Wait. All right, man. It was great to have you on, Pip. It's great to be here. It's a great time. Hell yeah, man.